In this tip of the week, we will look at how to create, edit, organize, and share ePortfolios in My Classes Canvas. ePortfolios are a place where you can display and discuss the significant submissions and experiences that happened during your learning process, which can then be shared with faculty, friends, and future employers. To create a new ePortfolio, click on Account in the Global Navigation menu, and then click on the ePortfolios link. Click the Create an ePortfolio button and add a title in the portfolio field name. Then decide if your ePortfolio will be public or private. You can change the setting later, so if you want to keep it private while you develop it and then make it public when you're ready for it to be viewed, you can. For now, I'll keep it private. When you're ready, click on the Make ePortfolio button. You will get a notice that your ePortfolio was successfully created. Once the ePortfolio is created, you can add content to the portfolio manually by selecting the option to go to the actual ePortfolio. You can also use the Getting Started Wizard tool that will help you walk through how to create your ePortfolio. To find the tool again, click Back to Portfolio Dashboard and click the link to the Getting Started Wizard. The Getting Started Wizard will explain the purpose of the introduction, portfolio sections, section pages, adding submissions, and the ePortfolio settings. And then it will highlight the link to click on to create that content if you hover over Show Me. To close the Getting Started Wizard, click the Close icon, which is the X symbol. You can organize your ePortfolio by creating multiple sections. To create a new section, click the Organize Sections link and then click Add Section. Type your new section name in the Section Name field and press Return on a Mac keyboard or Enter on a PC keyboard. Add as many sections as you would like. To edit any section, click the Settings menu. Here, you can rename a section, delete a section, or move a section. To move a section, click the Move To link, and then select which section you want to move the current section in front of, or you can move it to the bottom of the list. Then click Move. You can also rearrange sections by clicking and dragging them. When you are finished adding or editing your new ePortfolio sections, click Done Editing. Within each section, you can create pages to add information and or content to. Please note that any content added to an ePortfolio can only be viewed by users who have permission in Canvas to view it, even if your ePortfolio is made public. You can add pages to your portfolio home or within one of the sections you created. Select the section you want to add pages to. Click the Organize Manage Pages link, and then click Add Another Page or edit the default page. You can click the settings icon to delete, rename, or reorder your pages, the same as you can with sections. When you have finished adding all of your pages, click Done Editing. To add content to your page, click the name of the page, then click the Edit This Page button. You can add content to your ePortfolio in several different ways. You can add rich text content, HTML or embedded content, course submissions, or image or file uploads. Click on the rich text content. Here you can add content using editor menu options such as text formatting, image embedding, and URL linking. If you click on the HTML or embedded content link, you can add code to display items such as YouTube videos. If you click the course submission link, you can highlight and select to attach a My Classes assignment submission to the page for review. All assignments you have ever submitted will be listed in chronological order, with the newer assignments appearing at the top and the older assignments appearing near the bottom. Scroll to find the assignment you want, click the assignment, and then click Select Submission to add it to the page. You can only select one assignment at a time but you can choose to add more than one submission to the page. Users without access to a concluded course may not be able to access assignments in your ePortfolio from that course. 
links to deleted courses will not remain active. If you click on Image or File Upload, you will be able to add images as elements outside of the Rich Text Editor. Or you could upload files that were not submitted to my classes, such as a paper submitted in class instead of online. Click Image File Upload, and you may need to scroll down to find the Choose File option. Then click Select Upload File. You can add as many of these elements as you like to each page, and then you can click and drag to reorder them if needed. You can also choose to allow comments on your pages by checking the Allow Comments on this page box. And then you can choose whether or not you allow those comments to be public. Users must be logged into Canvas in order to make comments regardless of your ePortfolio visibility setting. You can preview the page while you work on it, and keep editing the page to make changes if needed. When you are done adding content to your page, click the Save Page button. If you need to make changes to the page after you save it, click on the Edit This Page option once again. All ePortfolios are, by default, private. If you share a private ePortfolio link, you will give others access to view your ePortfolio without having to log into Canvas. To share your ePortfolio, go to the Portfolio dashboard and highlight and copy your private ePortfolio link. You can then paste this link into an email or another sharing utility. Public ePortfolios allow anyone with the URL address to view your ePortfolio content. To make your ePortfolio public, click the ePortfolio Settings link and click the checkbox to make it public. Then click the Update ePortfolio button to save changes to your ePortfolio settings. You can download the contents of the portfolio at any time from your ePortfolio dashboard. You may need to scroll to the bottom to find the option to download the contents of this ePortfolio as a zip file. You can also delete an ePortfolio from the dashboard if you no longer need it, but once you delete it, it cannot be recovered. Thank you for watching this tip of the week. For more information, please refer to the following guides.